third overall, I give you the choice of the Lions picking or trading out. What do you think happens? I would pick trading out. I think they're they're trying to generate a market right now, and I think a lot of the smoke screens you're going to see leaked, you know, over the next 48 hours will be to that point of, you know, they're going to try to generate a market. So if someone comes up for a quarterback, the Dolphins have been waiting for this moment for it feels like two years to draft their quarterback of the future. They have three first rounders this year, two second rounders, two second two first rounders next year. They have 14 picks in this draft. So if they want to pop up a couple spots from five to three to make sure they get their guy. It's not because you have to jump the Giants. It's just to make sure that you get your guy with no uncertainty. I can see that happening. And, and I think the Lions are going to be willing to lower that price in, in, in order to do this. I don't think this will be like the, the Colts and Jets trade a couple of years ago where the Colts moved back from three to six so the Jets can get Sam Darnold. I, I think the asking price could be significantly lower than that. Okay. So uh, I, I guess now that we're – a couple minutes in here, Matt Miller of Bleacher Report. The intrigue is what we think it is, and it's Tua and the evaluation of Tua and uh, and whether the Dolphins are putting up uh, a tremendously uh, uh, effective smokescreen where the number of mock drafts that I'm seeing that have Justin Herbert going to Miami or Miami going in a different direction other than Tua um, – it's become a cottage industry. Uh, I wonder where you sit on that subject right now. I, I'm, I'm with everyone else, and I think I have been for quite some time with. It's, you know, a mock draft isn't what you would do as a general manager. It's what you're hearing. Daniel Jeremiah says that better than anyone. Um, and so when everything you're hearing is Justin Herbert, the Dolphins like Justin Herbert, they're worried about the medicals with Tua, it, you do wonder because everyone's saying it. So is it either – is it like Daniel Jones last year where everyone's saying it to the point that you start to doubt it? You start to wonder if it's true. And so I, I've definitely gone through that as well of, you know, you put Justin Herbert there at five and then you start to overthink it of, is Justin Herbert really Brian Flores' kind of guy? Are they really going to roll the dice on a guy who – I mean, he was never great in college. He was pretty good. His most – you know, his best performance was at the Senior Bowl where it's basically a scrimmage or – the combine where it's you know you're throwing against air i think that is you, you start to doubt that in the back of your head of two is this you know you know what he is as a passer he's this great passer it's drew Brees-esque at times but yeah there's some injury concerns but if you just had to compare these two as quarterbacks it's not even close Tua is so much better as a quarterback prospect i know that the injuries come into play and, and that that's ultimately going to be the deciding factor for miami but you're right rich every mock draft you read and every person you talk to around the league right now, they all feel like Miami is going to take Justin Herbert. Well, um, who was it yesterday, Chris, who said Marino was the one who's chiming in on this front as well, right? It was Breer, right? Albert Breer was telling yeah. us that he thinks – that he says in his reporting, Marino is saying that he loves Justin Herbert, a big guy with a big arm, et cetera, and so on and so forth. Uh, you know, I, I just – can't believe that here we finally are the Dolphins put in all the work and by the work I mean trading everybody of value away you know and then um, however putting the their tank job in the hands of the anti-tank quarterback and in, uh, in Fitz, Fitz magic that they still with all of that here we are and it sure looks like they're going to have Tua sitting right there at five they won't even have to move up to Detroit it seems like to go get him and they're going right, to pass that way. they're going to pass they really are I mean that I think would be... their fans are going to riot if and when that happens, because even if you if you tweet, I'm hearing the Dolphins want Justin Herbert, Dolphins fans come out in mass of, you don't know what you're talking about. There's no way we'll pass on Tua. They've had their heart set on this quarterback for at least a year, and now you're going to be there. He's on the clock. You didn't have to trade up. You didn't have to go winless. The guy you wanted, tank for Tua, he's there, and they're not going to take him. I, I think it's it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see the reaction when that happens. Okay. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.